back to my channel it's joy if you are new here i focus mainly on hair related content make sure to hit that subscribe button and lock me in today we're going to be giving you four different valentine's day look whether you are going out with your girlfriends or your significant other or by yourself why not make sure you have a cute hairdo to slay the day away anyway let's get right on into this video so i have bought a couple of things from sam's beauty supply if you guys know that online beauty supply i love it absolutely love it their wigs their um hair pieces are completely amazing i've never gotten something where i hated it i've loved every single product that i have ever bought oh why am i put the bang back girl okay I've loved every product that I've ever bought and I thought it'd be fun to play around with a couple of their um, pieces. So these are just like um, piece, is that how you'd refer to them as? Is like pieces? Cause it's just like ponytails or half wigs. Um, so I thought it'd be pretty fun to try doing a couple styles using some of their products. And today we are going to start out with the half wig so i got this instant instant up and down in the color one it is heat resistant it comes with a half wig and a pony so this is like a two-in-one because you could do a half up half down and then you could also just use the half wig or use the pony so you're getting like three in one and i think i only paid like 20 bucks for it that is a deal anyway let's get into how i would style this this would be the half up half down part this would be the pony cell for it it's already cute i love it i cannot wait to put this in but this half wig let's let's check her out i'm a little nervous about her it looks a little bit small for me <laughs> like i don't know how this is supposed to fit over my head maybe it's just because i have a big head but it looks a little bit small for me but let's let's install her let's install her and see what she gives if you can't tell we are starting out with straight end hair or a silk press if you'd like to say and the very first thing i'm doing is just splitting my hair down the middle and then i'm sectioning my hair from ear to ear and then I'm just going to clip those two front pieces away and put the rest back into a ponytail. We're going to start out by using the half wig and I'm just showing you here that it comes with four attachments, two at the front and then two towards the nape and I believe it also comes with a drawstring as well. So you already know she's going to be extra secure when you put her on. You don't have to worry, worry about her flying off. Now I'm just going to place the half wig on my back section. And I'm just going to use those two clips and slip it into my hair. And I'm also going to do the same with the clips at the nape. And then I'm just going to pull the drawstring pony just to make sure that she's extra secure. To make sure it looks a lot more natural, I'm just going to take some of the hair I've left out and just cover the piece that is showing and make sure that it just looks like my hair. And then I'm just going to clip it away and put all the attention into the front section. And I'm just going to reinforce that middle part. It's really hard to get a middle part. I don't know why. I always feel like mine is slightly off or a little bit crooked. And you know I've been using this wax stick for forever. This is the Kara Care wax stick. And I'm just going to be using that to slick down my bangs. You can see that I have a lot of little flyaway pieces because my hair is breaking. So this just helps make sure everything is really slicked down. If you're not someone who likes gel or you want to be able to still do different hairstyles with your silk presses or just to even make your silk presses last longer i highly recommend this product now i'm just going to go in with a 24 hour edge tamer i do not recommend this edge control whatsoever it leaves a lot of white residue but i'm just using this to make sure my edges are slicked down
Now I'm just going to reinforce everything with a bobby pin just to make sure that she ain't going nowhere. This is cute. Okay, Miss Thing, I see you. Love took me seconds. And you already know what time it is. It's time to accessorize my favorite part. I thought we could accessorize with some rhinestones. These are really itty bitty. Okay, hold on. Let's accessorize with these rhinestones. They're so freaking. I like these pink hearts. Look at that. That is so freaking cute. They're really big though. How am I gonna get them to stick to my hair? I ended up using eyelash glue to get them to stick, but I would not recommend these charms. I would definitely try to find something that are rhinestones and are a lot smaller. These ones were a bit tricky to get to stick. I had to make sure things were tacky. I had to use my blow dryer on a cool setting, but I eventually got them to stick. Ignore this. I'm not putting any more hearts on because they're hard as heck to put on. Yeah, and my fingers are getting all sticky. So this is the final look for look one. What do you guys think? I think it's so cute. It's really like girl next door, very flirty, very sweetheart. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the hairstyle. Are we digging it? Time for look number two. First, I'm going to start out by just combing all of that glue out. And I'm just going to take the previous section that I had parted from ear to ear and slick it up into a ponytail. Well, a half up, half down pony. Then I'm just going to put the rest in a ponytail once again. Once everything is done, I'm just going to reinstall the half wig. I braided down my ponytail. inserting this ponytail I thought it was going to be really easy but when I tell you guys that this gave my arms a workout I had to maneuver and configure this so many different times I think I didn't get it attached properly until the the fourth attempt it was really hard to work with this ponytail the leave the hair they leave out for you to wrap around the pony and to make it look seamless is a lot of hair i wish that it just wasn't so dense and that they made it a little bit more finer so that you don't have to wrap it around so many times because it just ends up building up the both the base of the ponytail and it makes your hair look unnaturally high and it's not like it's just not flattering for it to like look that high. Morning, you're in the morning, but I need you now. Yeah, yeah, I find. Why need 
You guys know I love a good accessory moment but when I tell you I was facing trials and tribulations putting this little accessory on because I had to wrap it around the pony and my arms were already tired from wrapping the pony itself I was really tested and this is where everything just started to go left I could not seem to get it wrapped around I did end up attempting to what you guys are seeing here is me attempting to rewrap it. I had to rip everything completely out and reinstall the ponytail because the rhinestone just kept getting stuck in the hair. Shit. Ah. <laughs> I rewrapped the pony and I think the key is you don't use the whole entire ponytail. I took a bobby pin and I just... Okay, this is the final look number two difficulty level a thousand my arms hurt and let's move on to look number three if you guys think i should reattempt this let me know so the next thing we're going to be doing is going for this like is this lulu pony's house that's the next thing i bought from um sam's beauty supply let's open her up she's supposed to be like this very 60s stepford type um wife vibe like it's super cute now it's known as like the barbie pony i think the people who typically wear it you'll see it on normani you'll see it on like bella hadid kim k um hailey bieber it's just like a really easy chic elevated pony like i think um it looks good on any and every body so I slicked the hair up into a pony. I just used my, actually you guys, you really do not need got to be like, I'm telling you this works just as well. Like look how sleek my hair is. But those flyaways are all gone. My hair, super sleek, super sleek. And I just did like a nice mid pony. You could bring it a lot higher. Now I'm just going to sleek my hair up into a ponytail. I did not do it too far high up. I did do it right at the crown of my head. I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to tell you this once. If you want a really sleek and chic ponytail, do not use a regular scrunchie. You are going to have to use a thin rubber band that you most likely could find at a beauty supply store or on Amazon. That is how you're going to get a nice sleek pony. Now I'm just securing that bun that I just created with a bobby pin. And I'm uh, placing in the wig. When I tell you guys this was the easiest ponytail I have ever done and it was super simple and super fast if you are a busy girl but you still want to look stunning I suggest that you definitely get this piece she's so cute she is so freaking cute oh my god wait hold on because I kind of look like the body's on so you need to be slicked back this is cute and you could also like reinforce the bump too because all these um, wigs have a special fiber and they're all resistant up to 400 degrees of heat. So, wow. This is real cute. That took, that took seconds. This is cute. She's giving. Baby. So the accessory I had actually bought for this was the bow. Let's see. Oh, I love her. This is so cute. Oh my god. I look so innocent and pure. She's an angel or whatever. She's so cute. Oh my god. 
Okay, this is super cute. I would definitely like this whole outfit. Is this like everything? It's a vibe I'm selling, and I hope you feel that vibe. Super cute. Okay. I am channeling like a sweetheart, sweetheart energy. I'm in my sweetheart era. This is super cute. I'm in love with this. I'm just wow. Wow, 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 wow. Fine, babe. Oh my god. Let's get into the next pony. This is the free trust equal pony cell bang. So this is a ponytail and it comes with this like bang and it's like a fringe goes right across the front and then it just hugs your face let's see how she's gonna look on i'm excited because if you guys don't know i try to make my own bangs one time in a tiktok video and it was a complete epic fail <laughs> why did i love my delusional mind take me here bitch <laughs> So let's let's try her on. So this is what the ponytail's looking like. Looking really romantic. Very um loose curl vibes. And then this is the bang. The bang is looking a little thick. I'm kind of worried. She's looking a little thick. Thicker than a snickle. The bang. Dang, is she like triple clip? Look. It comes with a clip here, two clips here, and then there's no weft like up here. Like it looks kind of seamless. Let's install her and see what she's talking about. I just want to install her with this ponytail and just see what she's giving. Oh my gosh. Do you guys know Tia and Tim Tia's mom, Tamara's mom, whatever? Yeah, their mom on Sister Sister. This is what this is giving. This is what it's giving. Ray! That was the dad's name. That's what this is giving. This is giving very auntie. Oh my gosh. Bruh. I look too sweet. Like y'all gonna get a, a sweet tooth looking at me. I look too sweet. I don't know about this bang. It is giving very much I bought this bang. <laughs> look. You could clearly see on camera you can't tell. But in person, you know what? Let's try hot combing it out first. It honestly looks a little bit better. Like this, this part wasn't laying as flat, but maybe I'm not moving it around the piece right. Maybe I have to comb the sides out a little bit more. <laughs> 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 what do you think? <laughs> what? You look like you, you know, a Motown girls group. Oh my gosh. Baby love, my baby love. Like 60s, right? Yeah. Do you like it? I do. It looks good on you. You wouldn't be embarrassed. Can you tell this is a bang? Like um, this piece right here? I, yeah. Yeah, you could very much so tell. I would never wear this out in the streets. But let's try the intended ponytail and see. You know it's not gonna help it. Like this bang is not cute. I look, I look good. I look good. I think maybe they're supposed to connect. Is it supposed to be like joined together so then it covers up that? Is that what it's supposed to do? Let's see if they have directions. Cause I think that's why it doesn't have a wraparound piece. Is cause these are supposed to be like met in the middle together. Okay, there's no instructions. But I think that's what it is. I, I do believe so. This part kind of covers up. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, if you look close, the ponytail is supposed to meet, like, 
at the edge of the um the bang so it could cover up that piece the only thing i'm not liking is one if your man's taller than you and he looks over here he's gonna see that they should have found a way to like make this either lay flatter or added more hair because even though it helps it's still kind of obvious i'm feeling this so much though i just wish it was made a little bit better because one thing is i don't I, I don't like being caught okay i don't want them to know that this is not my hair i like them to think it grossed the scalp and it does not have a receipt and I can't, like, I, I want them to think I can't return this. But this is so cute, right? I haven't done, like, a front bang in a minute. And I like that it, like, hugs my face. Ooh, child. Oh, my gosh. You wouldn't be able to tell me nothing. You wouldn't be able to. Because this is everything. What? Yes. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm honestly loving this. I am. I am. I just wish it didn't look so wiggy. Let's move on to my fifth and final hairstyle. I know Miss Bella Hadid only wears a middle part. We're just going to start out by parting my hair down the middle and creating two triangular sections. And we're just going to clip those off. Then we're just going to slick the rest of the hair into a ponytail. It, I did have to go back in and redo the pony. It was not slick enough for me if you are a Virgo and have a perfectionist mindset, please stand up. Now I'm just gonna braid that ponytail down. Okay, so after, well, after you're done slicking your hair back, you wanna take the two sections that you parted off And you're going to slick them back as well. I just wrap my sections around my ponytail. And then I just bobby pin it all right down. Just to really... reinforce it okay. that just helps it give that like now I'm gonna take this um, leftover weft I chose to use curly then I won't have to like curl the hair as much and I think it's going to look better with like tons of curls. Then I'm just going to bobby pin this end. You guys, like a lot of my styles that I do are for quick and easy. That didn't even go in. Quick, easy. This is not meant to last. Like, um, it's not meant to last like three or four weeks. It's for you to look cute in a minute. So, so I'm just going to wrap that one. I'm going to just bobby pin the end. So it's literally just like two bobby pins in. And if you want to secure it more, just load that hoe up with some bobby pins. Like, but let's bella hadid it up. So I'm just going to take... And leave some sections out like these you could leave out like a couple pieces you don't want to leave out a lot you want to make it look like it's accidentally fallen out and not like it's meant to be there like it's supposed to be 
really fun, loving, and easy hairstyle. Took it, I literally just wrapped it around my finger. And you already know what you're gonna do. You could either take a bobby pin or a rubber band. I think a bobby pin's gonna be easier to find at the end of the night. I stash my self with bobby pins. You could clearly see how often I use them. And then I'm just gonna fluff that out. Just leave a couple pieces here. To make the waves look a little bit more shiny, I just went in with my ropey foam and went over the waves over and over and over again just to give us that slick, wet look. We can actually accessorize this time because I got these like cute little plastic, um, they're like butterflies. The little butterflies and flowers. Let me see if you guys can see them. Yeah, they're just like butterflies, flowers, and they come in like gold, bronze, and silver. So there's like a bunch of them, and I think it's like 21 pieces. But I thought we could do a totally Y2K look if we put like a bunch of them around my hair. Guys, I think this is so freaking cute. This is giving me like prom Y2K when all the girls would like put their hair in an updo and put all those little things in their hair. I wish I had jewels, but this is cute. Ooh, let's give her 360. I'm turning around in my desk office chair, so imagine that. This is so cute. I love her. Oh my god, yes, Bella Hadid. Yes, my name. My name is Bella Hadid. Oh my gosh, this is super cute. And it it took me seconds to do. Seconds. Such a cute, fun, and easy hairstyle. But this is the last one, ladies. Why? Because it's 1151. I'm, I'm going to go chill and hang out with my man. Because... I look good and he needs to see it. He needs to enjoy that. But I will catch you guys in the next video. Comment down below if there's anybody, any celebrities, any hairstyles, or any suggestions that you guys would like to see me do for different hairstyles of. Or, or any brands, any websites that you guys suggest that I try. I'm down for anything. Let me know what you guys thought of these looks and let me know which look you would do. Number one, two, three, four, and five. And most importantly, let me know if you guys would even try to rock that bang. Would you? Would you step outside? Would you dare? I might dare. I might dare. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much for sticking around if you stuck around till the end. Make sure that you like comment and subscribe or just subscribe you know see my face lock me in i love you guys see you guys in my next video bye